Cardinals, I'm Carissa Ronghell. I'm Emily Esquivel, and welcome to UIW-TV. Last week, Residence Live held an event to inform students of the dangers of drinking and driving. San Antonio officer Brian Bigler was on campus to share stories about the issue. Today we're doing what is uh, the DWI prep, which is basically education to the general public in regards to uh, the ramifications of drinking and driving. Besides being arrested, having a criminal record, uh, attorney's fees, legal fees, court fees, losing your driver's license. You also have to look at the fact that you could take your own life as well as the life of somebody else, whether they be a passenger or someone else on the roadway. When you go away to college, you're exposed to a bunch of new things. One of those being the freedom you get away from your folks. So a lot of people experiment with one thing is alcohol. You're sitting at a house having a couple beers or a couple drinks, that's one thing, but once you make the decision to get behind the wheel of a vehicle, you've basically put yourself as well as everybody else in danger. That's something we all need to keep in mind with Fiesta coming up next month. With May approaching, a new batch of UIW hopefuls apply for admission. Cardinal Preview Day was held to introduce prospective students to everything the university has to offer including the School of Osteopathic Medicine and the brand new Masters of Biomedical Sciences program. This is the annual spring Cardinal Preview Day and this is an opportunity for high school and potential transfer students to come to see the campus and all of the great programs that we offer. This is our academic fair and you'll see um, faculty from all of our different departments and schools represented talking with students about what they're interested in studying. We're starting a brand new program, a Master's of Biomedical Sciences, which is a post back program for our students and other students who are looking to bolster their competitiveness to medical school. And so that's going to start this fall, and we anticipate a class of 50 students in that program. Students realize that we have lots of great options right here in San Antonio now for uh, studying health professions. I definitely encourage all students that are interested in the UIW to take part in our events, you know, to come visit campus, uh, speak with one of our admissions representatives, uh, and get the process going as far as filling out the application. Prospective students should take advantage of admission events like these. For those hoping to continue on to medical school after graduation, recruitment for the first class of 150 students for the Osteopathic School of Medicine will begin soon. In world news, the FBI is lending a hand in the investigation into last week's deadly terror attacks in Belgium. They are using modern technology to help Belgian authorities crack the mystery. The Wall Street Journal reports a laptop computer seized in Brussels led investigators to a nephew of two brothers who blew themselves up in the suicide attacks last week. The journal reports officials found traces of explosives in the nephew's hair and clothing, but the FBI could also help the Belgians crack the terrorist cell phone security codes. One person died in a shooting at a government building in the Houston area. It happened at a Harris County Precinct, Four Road, and Bridge Maintenance Facility, where heavy equipment is stored. Authorities say a 63-year-old man apparently killed himself and had no interaction with any of the workers. They say workers heard two gunshots outside the building. The man shot one bullet into the ground, then shot himself and died at the scene. The 63-year-old man recently retired from a job at the facility. No one else was hurt. It was 35 years ago yesterday that President Ronald Reagan was shot and seriously wounded outside of a D.C. hotel by John Hinckley Jr. He was just 69 days into his presidency. Hinckley's first shot hit press secretary James Brady and other shots wounded a police officer and a Secret Service agent. The final shot hit Reagan's limo and then ricocheted into the president's chest. Brady was left paralyzed. Law enforcement quickly appended Hinckley at the scene of the shooting. Hinckley was later found not guilty by reason of insanity. A massive fire spread to residential buildings in New York City's Brooklyn Borough. The fire began Tuesday night on the first floor of a three-story house, then quickly spread. It took more than three hours and more than 200 firefighters to get it under control. No word on what started the fire yet. Stay tuned after these messages for UIW-TV's entertainment segment, Word Up. Today, Eric Almarola behind the wheel in that 43 car. We all have a role to play here at Richard Petty Motorsports. We respect each other, work hard, and that helped us get the big win in Daytona. My partners in the U.S. Air Force also know that it takes a team to make each mission a success. 
Your coworkers, family, and friends are your team. Treat them with respect and together you can accomplish great things. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Hello everyone and welcome to Word Up, giving you the latest entertainment news in and around campus. I'm Devin Villarreal. Recently, UIW celebrated Holy a Festival of Colors. Let's go to Carissa Ronhell who took part in the festivities. In India, Holi signifies the end of winter and the start of spring. UIW's Festival of Colors brings culture, food, and fun to students right here on Dubuí Lawn. And how could anybody forget the color throw? <laughs> celebrate Holi. Um, Holi is basically throwing colors at each other. Um, it's this amazing thing where like you know families come together, friends come together and it's basically celebrating friendship and love and family. These kind of events are really important because it's a multicultural events so you, you get to see this Indian culture, the Saudi culture, the Turkish culture and you can see the Chinese girl belly dancing so which is really good which is really good about the United States actually that's the reason that we came to the United States to learn about the cultures. Being with people that are actually from other cultures and interacting with them and learning, learning from them is such an amazing experience. UIW celebrates students of all cultures. Reporting for UIW TV Entertainment, I'm Carissa Ronghel. That looked awesome. Thanks, Carissa. It's amazing the amount of culture we have at this school. The campus is always up to something at all hours. But if you're more of a night owl, Capcella this year turned out to be a success with music, carnival rides, and activities, right from the comfort of our own campus. Krissa, take it away again. It's time to dust off your denim cutoffs and your flower crowns because festival season is upon us. Campus Activity Board brought one of the country's most popular music festivals to students here on campus. This is Cab Cella. Last year, we created Cab Cella to kind of amp up what used to be Cardinal Carnival and um, I think everyone just really enjoyed the idea of having more music and um, more like um, more festival inspired attractions so we really liked the idea of having Coachella a festival that a lot of people know about and just following that kind of theme we have the giant slide thanks to SGA they helped us out big on that um, we have a lot of inflatables the velcro wall the bungee run then we have the the rock wall and then we have caricatures going on, we have flower crowns, we have face painting, we have henna tattoos, um, and then we have all the awesome performers. It was cute how they try to recreate Coachella. Super friendly and like we're all just having fun and enjoying like that's just like a celebration. I'm Carissa Ronghell. Okay. That slide looked legit. Like I said, folks, there's never a dull moment on campus. Look out for Diversity, April 7th, showcasing British teas at the Cardinals Courtyard from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. It's a perfect time to get to know some of our awesome foreign exchange students and get cultured. A college student is always in need of caffeine. We also have the Tech Fair coming up on April 13th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., spreading the newest trends in educational technology. So whatever it is you're interested in, I'm sure there's an event or a get-together on campus tailored to fit your interests. Stay tuned for more with UIW TV Sports after these messages. Hi. Ah. Prevengalo antes de que ocurra. Cada 24 minutos, un niño lesionado termina en emergencias. Prevenir caídas de muebles es fácil, económico y toma 5 minutos. Vea cómo proteger a sus hijos en seguridadconsumidor.gov. Hey, Cardinal fans, and welcome to UIW TV Sports. I'm Isis Garcia. Last Monday, the NFL Pro Day took place at Benson Field. Amanda Ramos has more on the day's event. We came to Benson Stadium where 17 NFL scouts came to the UIW Football Pro Day. We asked senior Cole Wick how he prepared for the big day. 
Well, I've been training for like 10 weeks, uh, just weights and stuff, and then practicing the drills over and over and over again until I get them right. Uh, there's a few curveballs that they sent our way, but uh, overall it was, you know, just the training weights and whatnot. We asked senior Mike Harry on Tavares what he was thinking during the whole process. Don't mess up. <laughs> just do everything that we te they, they teach you, you know, pick up your feet, you know, lock your toes, you know, don't look down, you know, just trust your legs. All stuff like that, all stuff that we worked on every single day, but just have fun with it also. We also asked senior Troy Lara what advice he would give himself in preparation for the big event. Don't spend so much time vacationing. Uh, work a little bit harder on certain things that I didn't know we were going to be preparing for here. And uh, just stay focused, stay positive and have a, a strong mentality. Coach Robert Lyles gave his insight on the players' performances. I saw a little bit. Uh, you know, they did okay. Uh, some did well in certain areas, but you always feel like you can do better. I mean, it's an experience for them. Hopefully they'll learn, and the next opportunity they get, wherever it may be, they'll, they'll perform even better. Reporting for UIW-TV, I'm Amanda Ramos. Thanks, Amanda. Men and women's track and field travel to Rice University this week for the Lopez Classic. Garrett Cortez shattered the school record in the 5,000 meter with a time of 1447.89. The women's record in the 10,000 meter was broken by sophomore Caitlin Mead with a time of 3738.62. Way to go, cards. Both teams travel to Clyde Littlefield, Texas relays in Austin today. Kyle Hiddle, the senior forward for the Cardinals, ended his career by being named the Southland Men's Basketball Student Athlete of the Year. He ended the season ranked third in the conference and with a 3.62 grade point average in business administration. Hiddle is the first student athlete in any sport at UIW to earn this award. Congrats, Kyle. We want to congratulate the UIW Synchro team for finishing third in the nation at the 2016 U.S. Collegiate Synchronized Swimming Championship in Florida. The team finished with 75 points. Stanford and Ohio State took first and second place. Way to go, girls. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all for sports. I'm Isis Garcia. Stay tuned for weather with Ruben Gonzalez. Another muggy and foggy start this morning, but things have uh, cleared out r right away for the time being. So as you take a look at our satellite picture, you do see clearing skies right over San Antonio and even across uh, Texas. You do have uh, cloudy skies right here uh, over the eastern half of the country, and we do see an, uh, another approaching system coming toward the Midwest. But here locally, temperatures are shaping up pretty nice. 71 here in the metro area in San Antonio, 68 just to the north in Bernie, and a little bit cooler out to the west, 65 over in the Del Rio area. Now, the dew points map, it's a, it's a little bit interesting because we do see this uh, sharp gray in color. So you see yellow over here, all the way down to light blue right over there. That means this right here, we do have a dry line and also a, a somewhat of a frontal boundary. And that's gonna impact our weather coming up uh, the next 24 hours, especially tomorrow. But dew point 67, so you do feel slight mugginess in the air. But for you folks out in Del Rio, 49, nice and dry out there. Now, as you take a look at our future cast, those rain and showers do pop up right about there. So that means on Friday during the day, we'll have another shot of rain, some thunderstorms, especially around central Texas. We may get a little storm here or there, like here in the metro area and across south Texas. But as after those storms uh, like fizzle out and that front goes through, we will get clearing skies uh, for Saturday and even into the weekend. And speaking of the weekend forecast, let's take a look at our five-day forecast. So Friday, the computer models do um, underestimate how much rain we're really going to get. We're still going to get some rain. It will be like mostly light rain here in San Antonio, but I can rule out a possible thunderstorm. So just make sure you have your umbrellas handy that day. But Saturday and Sunday, the frontal boundary will come through by this point. Everything will dry out and we'll have nice sunny skies with temperatures over in the mid 70s. And even nighttime lows will still go down to the 40s because after all the air is drier and that's going to cause radiational cooling and the temperatures will definitely dip down right really sh sharply, especially in the dry air. But Monday and Tuesday, start your work week. Sunny skies, uh, highs will rebound, rebound back up to the mid 80s with nighttime lows in the 50s just to start off your work week. Well, that's all for today's news. Tune in next week at 1230 for more UIW TV news. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Carissa Ronghill. And I'm Emily Esquivel. Have a great day.